We have cut CO2 emissions in this country since 2010 on 1990 levels by 42%. 42%. That is an astonishing achievement. Well, it would be if it were true, but it's just another lie. CO2 emissions fell by 39% between 1990 and 2018, not from 2010 onwards. The economy under this Conservative government has grown by 73%. Another lie. In the period since 2010 and prior to the pandemic, it was about 20%. The 73% he's referring to is for the whole period since 1990, 13 years of which was under Labour governments. We restored the nurses' bursary. Another lie. A maintenance grant for student nurses is not a return of the student nurses' bursary. Thanks to the Conservative government scrapping the nurses' bursary, they still have to pay extortionate tuition fees and still qualify tens of thousands of pounds in debt. And ensure there will be a free hospital car parking for everybody who attends a hospital. Just another lie. Absolute poverty, relative poverty have both declined under this government. And there are, there are hundreds of thousands, I think 400,000 fewer families living in poverty now than there were in 2010. More lies. The number of people in relative poverty in the UK has increased from 13.6 million in 2010 to 14.5 million in 2019. And as for his claim that 400,000 fewer families are living in poverty, well, it appears he just made that up. The app would be the icing on the cake. Well, if we can get it to work, if we can get it to work, it would be a fine thing. But there isn't one anywhere in the world so far. Another lie. At the time, track and trace apps were being used in France, Germany, Australia, Poland, Latvia, Denmark, Japan, Italy. He will know that the government is engaged in record investments in the NHS, 34 billion pounds. Another lie. In real terms, it's a spending increase of just 20.5 billion. The Institute for Fiscal Studies points out that's less than funding used to rise under Labour.